5 World Facts You've Believed That Are Totally False Part 1 Hello, Science Tellers! Welcome to Science Deli, the channel where we tell you amazing stories about science and technology. In this video, we are going to challenge some of the common myths and misconceptions that you may have heard or believed about the world. From deserts to diamonds, from fruits to colds, from lightning to quantum computers, we are going to reveal the truth behind these false facts and show you how science and technology can help us understand the world better. Are you ready to be surprised and enlightened? Let's get start. Deserts. When you hear the word, desert, what comes to your mind? Scorching sand dunes under the blazing sun, right? Well, here's a shocker. Not all deserts are hot. The definition of a desert is actually an area that receives less than 10 inches 254 millimeters, of precipitation per year, regardless of its temperature. That means that some deserts can be very cold, such as the Antarctic Desert, which covers most of the continent of Antarctica, and the Gobi Desert, which spans parts of China and Mongolia. These deserts can have snow, ice, and freezing temperatures, making them inhospitable and challenging for life. In fact, the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth was in the Antarctic Desert, at 128.6 degrees Fahrenheit, 89.2 degrees Celsius, in 1983. So, the next time you think of a desert, don't forget that it can be a cold place too. Diamonds? Diamonds are often touted as rare and precious stones, a symbol of luxury and wealth. But are they really as scarce as we're led to believe? The reality may surprise you. The De Beers Diamond Company cemented the concept of diamonds as rare and valuable back in the 1930s-40s. They controlled the market, regulating the supply of diamonds and creating a perceived scarcity. They also launched a successful marketing campaign, convincing people that diamonds are the ultimate expression of love and commitment. Their grip on the global diamond market even remained as high as two-thirds into the 2000s. However, the truth is that diamonds are not that rare in nature. There are billions of carats of diamonds in the Earth's crust, and more are being mined every year. There are also synthetic diamonds, which are made in laboratories, and have the same physical and chemical properties as natural diamonds. These diamonds are cheaper and more environmentally friendly than natural diamonds, and can be used for various purposes, such as jewelry, industry, and technology. So, the next time you think of a diamond, don't forget that it's not that rare or special after all. Forbidden Fruit the infamous fruit that Eve plucked in the Garden of Eden has been portrayed as an apple in countless paintings, films, and stories. It's so ingrained in our minds that it's hard to imagine it being anything else. However, here's the catch. The Bible never specifically identifies the fruit from the tree of knowledge. It only refers to a fruit. So, how did the apple become the forbidden fruit? The answer lies in a linguistic confusion. The Latin word for evil is malum which sounds very similar to the Latin word for apple, which is malice. In the 4th century AD, when the Bible was translated from Hebrew and Greek into Latin, the word malum was used to describe the fruit, which could mean either evil or apple. This ambiguity led to the association of the apple with the original sin and the tradition of depicting the fruit as an apple in art and literature. So, the next time you think of the forbidden fruit, don't forget that it could have been something else cold weather. Did you just catch a chill? You might believe it's a precursor to catching a cold, but that's not exactly true. Although it's a common misconception that being out in the cold or getting wet can make you sick, cold weather itself cannot cause illnesses like colds or the flu. The real culprits are viruses, not the low temperatures. Viruses are microscopic organisms that can infect your cells and cause symptoms such as fever, cough, sore throat, and runny nose. Viruses are spread through the air, by sneezing, coughing, or breathing, or through contact, by touching, kissing, or sharing objects. Viruses are more active and contagious in the winter, because people tend to stay indoors, in close proximity, with less ventilation and humidity. This creates a perfect environment for the viruses to thrive and spread. So, the next time you feel a cold coming on, don't blame the weather, blame the viruses. Lightning. Contrary to popular belief, Lightning can, and does, strike the same place twice. In fact, it often hits the same spot multiple times, especially if the conditions are right for a strike. Lightning is a powerful electrical discharge that occurs between clouds, or between clouds and the ground, when there is a difference in electric potential. 
Lightning can reach temperatures of up to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 27,760 degrees Celsius, and speeds of up to 60,000 miles per hour, 96,560 kilometers per hour. Lightning can strike anywhere, but it tends to favor tall, isolated, and conductive objects, such as trees, buildings, and antennas. These objects can act as lightning rods, attracting and channeling the electric current. Some places are more prone to lightning strikes than others, such as the Empire State Building in New York, which gets hit by lightning about 25 times a year, or the Catatumbo River in Venezuela, which gets hit by lightning about 250 times a year. So, the next time you see a lightning bolt, don't forget that it can strike again. These were some of the world facts that you've believed that are totally false. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. And, let us know in the comments below, which fact surprised you the most, and why. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video, where we will continue to debunk more world facts that are totally false. Until then, stay curious, and keep science telling. Bye!